Alright, hi guys, it's Miss Summers with your academic notes. Today we're learning about spheres of the Earth. So, for this set of notes, it should look something like this. Let's see if we can get that to focus better. There we go. You will need a few things for this. You'll need a regular pencil and then four colors. So I've picked a green brown, blue, and yellow. I'm going to set the colors to the side for right now. All right, so for today's notes, we want to know how the spheres of the Earth interact. How do Earth spheres interact to support life? So in order to know that, we have to identify each sphere. So I'm going to start in this corner, the first one being the geosphere. So geo, I'm going to jump right here. Geo comes from the Greek word for Earth. So, the geosphere is the solid part of Earth's surface. So let's think of some examples. So solid, this is something that you could walk on. So, soil would be an example, as would rock, all right? Other things can be formations like volcanoes or mountains, and events like earthquakes are also part of the geosphere, all right? I'm gonna add one more thing to geosphere. Geosphere is also called the lithosphere sometimes. And litho is a word that means rock. So, we have geosphere feared in. We're going to pick a color to represent it. I'm going to choose brown to represent the geosphere because brown reminds me of dirt or the ground. So that would make sense. So I'm just going to lightly shade this in so I can still read my notes. But I know anytime I think of geosphere, I'm going to think of something like dirt or soil or the ground. Okay? So we have the geosphere. Our next one is the biosphere. So bio comes from the Greek word that means life. So biosphere is anything that is living. So, some examples. Animals. Plants. Or even, even something as small as a bacteria. All those things, because they're alive, belong to the biosphere. So the color I'm going to pick for biosphere, I'm going to choose green because green reminds me of like a healthy living plant, all right? Places that are really green, like a forest, generally have a lot of living things in them. So I'm gonna make the biosphere green. The reason I'm coloring is because I want to be able to sort things out in my brain, and colors help me do that. All right, so let's slide to the bottom of the sheet. We'll slide here. All right, hydrosphere. So looking here, looking at this little thingy thingy, this little symbol, hydro obviously clearly means water. So the hydrosphere is any water on Earth. So the biggest body of waters on Earth are obviously the oceans. But we also have things like rivers, lakes, or something that maybe not be liquid water, but solid water, glaciers. If you don't know what a glacier is, it's a big sheet of ice, and ice is just solid water. All right, so let's look at our colors once more. We've already used green, we've already used brown. So water, 
is most often recognized or associated with the color blue. So I'm going to make it sort of this blue color. And it's going to remind me that hydro is water. I'm just going to lightly shade so I can see. In our last sphere, the atmosphere. Atmo comes from the Greek word for air. So this is going to be the air surrounding the earth. So our atmosphere, we know it's surrounding the earth because we have this little cloud here. So let's think of things that belong in the atmosphere. Things like weather, weather are atmospheric conditions, nitrogen and oxygen are the two things that mostly make up the atmosphere. And let's see. Let's think of something else. We'll think of one more thing. Wind. All right. Wind is the movement of air from one place to the next. All right. So the only color I haven't used from my four colors, remember green was biosphere for life. Brown was geosphere. Blue was hydrosphere. I'm going to use yellow because it's the only color I have left. And yellow kind of reminds me of the sky because it's like light and airy, kind of like the sun almost. So that's what I'm going to color for this one. All right. So we have our four spheres. We have the solid geosphere, the living biosphere, the water in the hydrosphere, and the air in the atmosphere. But now we want to look at examples of how they go together. So we'll start at the top of the page. Different spheres can interact. So the geosphere can affect the biosphere. And let's look how they do that here. So the remains of dead plants and animals get buried under soil to form coal and oil, didn't mean for that to rhyme, but it did, over long periods of time. So I'm gonna take my colors again. Plants and animals are biosphere. Zoom that in so you can see. So my plants and animals are the biosphere. Soil is part of the geosphere. So that's how we interact. Let's go clockwise down here. Here we have the biosphere interacting with the atmosphere. So wind can carry pollen to new places so more plants can grow. So wind is part of the atmosphere Plants and pollen are part of the G or I'm sorry, part of the biosphere. Because pollen is made by living plants. Alright, we're gonna keep going clockwise. Here we have an interaction between the hydrosphere, remember, water, and the atmosphere. Air temperature impacts the evaporation of lakes and streams. So my two colors, hydrosphere and atmosphere. The hydrosphere part of this are the lakes and streams. The atmosphere part is the air temperature. So how hot it is. When it's really, really hot, you have lots of evaporation. When it's colder, you have less evaporation. And then we have one more between these two. So geosphere and hydrosphere. Wind 
Water erodes the land, bringing nutrients to lake. So when you erode something, it means you move things. So the land is the geosphere. The water and the lakes are the hydrosphere, all right? So all these spheres are interacting, all right? We have two more interactions here. So you see these arrows. Show me how they're interacting. We have geo, so I'm going to write that over here, geosphere, atmosphere. The geosphere can interact with the atmosphere. So let's look at this first example. A volcano erupts adding carbon dioxide to the air. So which part is geosphere? Which part is brown? It's going to be the volcano because it's part of the earth. And which part is atmosphere? This is going to be the carbon dioxide because that's something you can breathe in in the air. Now let's look at this one. This is also geosphere and atmosphere. Chemicals in the air impact the weathering of rocks. So the geosphere, which part is solid? The rocks. And which part is the atmosphere? It's going to be the chemicals in the air. And our last interaction on this sheet, these two spheres, I'm going to put bio over here and hydro down here. So the biosphere living things can impact water, and water can impact living things. So let's look at this one first. Living organisms give off moisture through respiration and perspiration. So respiration is like when you breathe out, like, and perspiration is like when you sweat, like it's when it's really hot. So bio, my hint for bio is living living organisms. Hydro is water. So the example of water here is moisture. Just like if you were to breathe into like a plastic bag, you would see little water droplets. So that's how you affect the hydrosphere. And our last example, water availability impacts plant growth in animals who depend on plants for food. So, here, the hydrosphere, hydrosphere is the water availability. So is there a lot of water or a little water? And the biosphere is going to be plant growth. All right. So the water can affect if the plants grow or not. And if the plants grow, it's going to affect the animals who depend on them. Because if there's no water, the plants can't grow, and if there's no plants, the animals can't eat. So this is what the front of your sheet should look like. We have our four spheres, our examples, and then our interactions. On the back of the sheet, you're going to work with a partner at your little pod. Use the following list and, start, and sort, sort the words into their correct spheres. So I've given you little pictures, and we have four, our four spheres. You need to figure out, is it water in the hydrosphere, solid in the geosphere, is it air like the atmosphere, or is it living, and it goes in the biosphere.